Welcome to another Emmy Creations Artist Alley Exhibitor Vlog. This time we are going to WonderCon 2024, which happened on March 29th to the 31st at the Anaheim Convention Center. Hello, welcome to another Artist Alley Exhibitor Vlog. This time we are going to WonderCon, which is happening this weekend. And I have a surprise for everybody who is doing. I am doing a new display because it's local and I can drive there and they have great freight, free freight. Um, so I will be in the exhibit hall right next to Artist Alley. I think the booth number is like 2123. And this will be the backdrop. There's like a cute little overhang right here, which is MacGyvered on basically. And then I have these doggy hangers that I got a long time ago. And I have some shirts left that will be on discount there. It's like $10 there. And like how it's put together is actually really funny. These are uh, my old sticker book display. So it just props the banner up. And I do have some lights because with the overhang, I was afraid it was going to get too dark. So there's three lights in total. Um, they just look like pretty Ikea lights, like gooseneck lights, and it's relatively a soft light and it just makes the designs pop out more in the booth, hopefully pop out more. So excited to do that. My husband is actually coming to help because this is the first time I'm doing such a relatively large display and there's going to be flooring and there's going to be um other fun stuff so excited for you guys to check that out either at the show or in the vlog here we did it we managed to fit everything in the car so here's the backdrop display that you saw me using for the um doggy background and i have some shirts this is my shirt rack this is the flooring the black bag and then I have a few suitcases with all the merch. So I think three suitcases in total. This is actually mostly displays and then merch and then merch back there and then merch down here. And yeah, so excited. We fit everything and we are ready to go to set up tomorrow. Good morning. We are heading to WonderCon to set up and we're basically going to the free freight. So they open at 9 and I think it goes until 7 p.m. today. So we have a lot of time, but I'm going early to hopefully get it done early. So I'll see you there. Go down the 22, almost to the end. All right, so here's the booth. We just got everything. And then we have flooring um, put in so we can put stuff on top of it. But look at the flooring. It's actually just foam. Um, so yeah, it's like the squishy foam, children's play yards and stuff like that. Yeah. Gonna get set up now, but here's the before. We are in the parking lot now. Um, just parked the car and then we're gonna go finish set up, dropped everything off at the booth. All right, we're back in. So here's Artist Alley on this side and Exhibitor on this side. They actually said you can't set up the Artist Alley until 3 p.m., but I guess they are all done with it. But we're actually one row in. Trying to figure out how I did this at home. I think it's like that. All right, we just finished the backdrop and it's pretty big. Although you can't see the top. 
You can see it. Oh. It looks cute. We're making good progress. So the two front ones are up. We're actually using a different system this time, which is awesome. So they're actually banner stands and definitely easier, faster to set up. Thank you for the person that suggested that on my social media. And then I do have t-shirts this time. So you can browse through it on the side. And we have some hoodies left of the smaller sizes. So I did bring them. And then everything's on the side. We have all of our keychains out. They look so cute, all laid out. And then the lanyard's gonna be there, cards. And on this side, we have sticker books, stickers, and the three inch stickers will be over here. So coming together, almost done-ish. All right, we're all done for what we can do today. All the things, all the things. And this is what I'm missing. I don't know where what happened i'm missing like two pieces of this so i need to go find it at home um and then i can finish that and put the rest of the stickers up but yay coming together nicely hello good morning it is friday morning friday yes friday first day of wondercon and i am just driving over right now um i don't think I think it gets crazy if you're parking on Saturday, but not Friday, so. And there's a VIP hour, so it starts at 11 for VIP, and then general attendees come in at 11.30, and I think that's only for the first day, not really sure, but we're going to be there at 11, hopefully. We're on track, so I will see you there for first day, yay. Everybody's all set up. Ready to go. Okay. Good morning. It is Saturday morning and I'm actually cooking food since I am at home, there's Horror Boy, and we are heading over earlier today, but I wanted to wake up a little bit earlier to cook food, and then I bring it in my little tub, and that guy, so just saves on cost, because food in California is so expensive. It is 9.30, and here's the entrance crowd. Hopefully there'll be more people as the day, well, as you get closer to 10. So my neighbor helped me film a lovely walkthrough during the busiest time of Saturday, and while they walk around, let's talk about WonderCon. It is located at the Anaheim Convention Center and was organized by the same people who put on the very famous San Diego Comic Con. It's their much smaller sister show con. I've been going to this con for five years now, two years in Articelli, and three years, including this year, as an exhibitor. I personally love this con mainly because, one, you can drive into your booth to set up, two, it is really easy to sign up for next year, three, I've never had any issues, and really anything, booth neighbor setup payments, always a plus when I have no issues, four, the most important factor, it is drivable and local to where I live. So this show has always been top five for me, which a lot of people find weird because it's usually a really slow show for most vendors in comparison to other shows. But as a perspective, since we just did Emerald City Comic Con, I consistently make more gross income here than Emerald City Comic Con over the last few years. Then for the fact that it costs me only half of what it usually does for travel shows, the take home is quite good as well. But that might also be because I do have a lot of regulars in Anaheim that come back year after year. And I also do commissions at the show, which is not something I usually do. So I do think people seek me out more at the show than other events. But that being said, it was overall slower this year than last year. Friday and Sunday did not have a lot of people walking around the show floor from what I've seen. Saturday definitely was much better, but I could already just tell from the car line outside that it was overall down from last year. 
Some people did mention that the actor lineup at the show was not good this year, and I guess the main attraction was the vendor hall, which may have contributed to there being less people willing to come and spend money. I do know a lot of things were kind of different behind the scenes. There's been rumors about management changing for WonderCon. Um, I'm honestly not too sure, and I'm just hoping that for next year, it'll be better overall because I did sign up for next year already, already put my deposit in, and I'm excited for it, honestly. But like I said, not everyone finds success here. I think my recommendation is that it is a good, consistent local show, but it may not be a good travel show for most people, mostly if you're not custom traveling. But if you have family in the area and can lower costs, it still might be a good option. Another idea I have is that if you want to make it a trip, since it is across from Disneyland, if you want to do your vacation budget on this one and just do a show on the side, that could be an option too. I've seen people do that quite often. Um, I do know they have a small partnership with Disneyland, so if you do buy a WonderCon ticket, you get a small discount on Disneyland tickets. But I'm personally not sure how much the discount is, just something to keep in mind. But if you are thinking of attending, just be very aware that they have some different booth options. So they have the usual artist alley, which is a six or eight foot booth table, (laughs) not booth, table, small press, which is five by 10, but located in the back. So I don't really usually recommend anything that is eight by 10 at this show since they always put them in the back for some reason. And then exhibitors which covers most of the show floor but you do locationally want to be closer to the front and entrance for reference that is the front and towards artist alley um i do notice that at this show in particular position of your booth does matter quite a bit so definitely keep that in mind if you are interested in going to a future show And if you are, please let me know in the comments below, or if you have attended this last year or previous years, let me know what you think about it. Let me know your experiences. I love to get the conversation rolling in the comment section. So appreciate that if you do. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Good Sunday morning. I'm heading to the convention center for the last day of WonderCon and not expecting too many people but we'll see because it is Easter Sunday. So I'm not sure if people will come or do like Easter stuff, but um, well, I'm seeing the car line's not too bad. So we will see, Um, but good luck for the last day. And I have, I had to move my booth, Um, not had to, but I requested to move my booth into an empty space. So I'll show you that in a minute. Sunday morning looks very quiet compared to yesterday, which was slightly expected. All right, now I'm confused why there's actually a lot of people in here because I thought it doesn't open until 10. It's like 9.45. Um, Weird. Maybe it's like VIP hour that I didn't know about, or maybe it's just vendors walking around, or maybe they let people in early. I don't know. A lot of people are closed, but there's a lot of people in. Not sure why. Okay, so apparently they let people in 15 minutes early, which is weird because most of the vendors aren't here, which means no one is washing our stuff, which I don't like that practice because, I don't know, most of us, like, cover our tables, but theft is still a thing if we're not around, so... Yeah, not not liking that, but whatever. Um, yeah, so this is the new corner. Uh, basically, the person that was here did not show up, so we kind of moved over, and this was my old space, and we divided it between me and Q. So I got a corner and a little bit more space, and she got to expand out a little bit. So not too bad of an option. And I did have to ask the, um, like, event coordinators to make sure that was okay. So usually they do allow it, but they kind of give the person that was supposed to be in the space 
maybe like half day Saturday to get here. And if they're really not here, then they'll um, make that space available or up for grabs and stuff like that. So yeah, kind of cool. We have a corner now and hopefully Sunday is good. Hey guys, just finished up WannaCon 2025, officially packed up the booth, everything's in the car, and I am driving over to celebrate pho dinner, so that will be fun. Uh, thank you so much for watching, per usual. Next up, we're probably going to the Torrance Cherry Blossom Festival, so an inside look of how we do outside markets, and I'll definitely link it when it's available. And thank you so much for watching, Per usual, if you like our content, like, subscribe, click the alert bell, all those things. It really does help the channel grow. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.